Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, not my to explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ba ding. TNT. Yo. So I saw online that they are, that they have actually came up with a male birth control pill that is not hormonal. And they, so far it has worked to keep mice sterile for four to six weeks with seemingly no side effects. And uh, the early trials with humans are going to begin to start like here probably by the end of this year or something. So um, I know like a lot of people have always said that like male birth control was weird because like it messes with testosterone. And then like the argument is, well, female birth control messes with estrogen. So why wouldn't you do it? Uh, hmm. But would you, even if not necessary, like w take a uh, non-hormonal male birth control pill to make sure you didn't get women pregnant. It's funny that you should bring this up during the time period we live in, Jonas, where there are talks about it and, you know, government about actually uh, banning birth control. About what? Banning birth control. Oh, have they? Is that a new thing? You're not familiar with this? So wait, wait, so they're going to stop abortions and then stop you from being able to stop having yes, things Jonas, to... to the, uh, I want to say governor, not 100% sure, truth, not facts. Of Florida? No. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, the Florida, the North Ohio actually says that if she gets into office during the midterms, is that one of the first things that she's going to look at is uh, banning birth control. Are they just trying to overpopulate the planet? Well, it is no, it is no, uh, no, it's known that people in this country are having less and less children. So it's not a yeah secret. all over the world. Yeah, they're, they're saying that like China, who has had limits on babies, could be like regressing and be not be the most populous country in the world. Like yes, within yes. like ten years, they're gonna like be way down. So people are equating this uh, this lack of children being born to oh, there's too much birth control. Oh, abortion is too readily available. Oh, uh, people just want to just people just want to f and not have to deal with the responsibility. Oh yeah, don't don't ever think that the world's so effed up that people don't want to bring babies into it. Yeah, or that you know people are like, how the hell can I afford a baby right now? Yeah, right. Oh my God, inflation's so high they can barely afford their own. Stuff. But regardless, it's very funny that you should bring it up during this time period. So this has been a very serious topic that has happened among the. Uh, the right, I guess, lately. Oh, right. is that it, like, it's more like the right? This, oh, like, yeah, well, I guess they were the, the right? leaders of the uh, ban yeah. abortion stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, okay. they're they're the ones who went ahead and did that. So, um, yeah, um, would I myself take a pill that prevented me from having from have, pumping out seed? Yeah, why not? Oh, I would a thousand percent. Yeah. I mean, what if it was hormonal and it affected your testosterone? Though? No. See, and honestly, I I don't like have necessarily having to take like a PO medication, by mouth medication that you that just like I got to keep up with that. I see how women can miss it because sometimes I forget to take you know what pills I've designated to take for myself during the daily right day right right. Day. So really, I suggest just go out there and get a visectomy because they ain't outlawed that for some reason. <laughs> go right? figure. Right, right. Well, yeah, and, and that's, I guess that's the thing. It's like, it's at like a certain age for a guy, mm -hmm. it's like, I guess with, with a woman, there's always the risk, oh my God, I could get pregnant by someone I don't want to get pregnant by or at this time. Right? And at a certain age, it's dangerous for the exactly. woman. Exactly. Well, and with guys, child. at a certain point, if, it, it means it could be any age, I guess, but there's, there's a point in a man's life where he's like, I do not want to have a baby no matter what happens at any point. I mean, you could be 20 and think that, but especially once you get up into like 30s, 40, you want to be 50 and knock somebody up accidentally. Like, right. you know, like, so you're just like, no, no, cut off the, cut off the system at the source. You're dealing with a three-year-old when you're like 55. I'm good, man. Dude, I'm I don't want to deal with a three-year-old when I was 25, <laughs> let alone I'm 55, dude. Exactly. So, you know, so I get that. Um, oh, I would absolutely take it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for I mean, sure. we've we've had conversations, uh, you know, behind closed doors about Jonas getting one. Oh yeah, man. I uh, are you still I'm, interested I'm, I'm, in getting in getting a vice I'm getting closer. Yeah, what man. You closer. I mean, I gotta have sex with people I mean, in order to like care. I mean, I give you that, but like, what what's your trepidation about it? What's what's holding you back? Uh. Is it the cost? No, actually, it's not really good insurance. It might be free. And that's a good point. Mine was covered under my insurance, and it cost me, guess what, 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah. When like, I got one. And well, and honestly, this year, I've already hit my deductible. So, man, I should I should ask ask the doctor how much that is. 
Right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's like, I guess the only you, trepidation are... is like, I've never wanted kids. I mean, like, I mean, like, I've always thought, like, if I met the right person, the circumstances were right, sure, I'd probably have a kid at some point, right? Well, now I'm old, and, <laughs> and that's never happened. And now I'm like, do I want to have a kid at all? Because. I'm going to be too old when the kid's like graduating high school. Yeah. But then like the thought, I guess always creeps in since I wasn't the guy who at like 20 was like, no kids, no matter what. Like I, I was always the, let's see what happens sort of person. Yeah. Um, like what if I don't have one and then I meet someone and I hit that situation and they're younger and they're like, I really like a kid. And I'm like, I can't even give you one now. I mean, what's and you can about? reverse a, a vasectomy. That is a good, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, I know someone, I know someone who's had that done. And, and, and Jonas, what she don't know won't hurt her. I mean, that's deceitful. If Is she, it if deceitful? She, if she wants a baby and doesn't know that you can't give her one, well, I mean, like, you've got to, like, at least tell her if, like, that comes up, right? You can't just, like, be like, no, yeah, girl, we good. Be like, I don't know what happened. I, I just must be sterile. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, it's, uh, yeah, but, like, <laughs> but I think, dude, I honestly, dude, I think it would be better if the, if, if, we, if they came out, if they found a non-hormonal birth control for guys, considering all birth control are hormonal for women, I think it would be better to shift the stigma to make the guys get on the non-hormonal so they can't get women pregnant, period. I agree. Than to make the woman do it and screw with their estrogen and their... Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, but the same, you know, so it's like, I don't know. I mean, I guess the reason it's always been women is because there hasn't been one for guys other than vasectomies, which you ain't going to get a vasectomy at 18 just to then reverse it when you decide you want to have a baby. I don't know. Honestly, Jonas, like I've never had any like big time scares. I guess I have. I have definitely. Um, geez, how do you even say this? I guess I have definitely paid for one abortion in my life. OK, um, though, I don't really think it was an issue with. I don't think it was mine at the time because we did have the the, 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 the act went through. But I was like, I don't really think that there's any way I could have done that because you know I made sh I always make sure to uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah take what sure. what middling uh, recourse I can to prevent that from happening. But I have done it before. I at, I'm not ashamed. One time in my all. life, I've had to ask a girl, "Is there a possibility that could be mine?" But I didn't think it was because because like we we had sex. She was pregnant a couple months. She was pregnant a couple months later. But, like, when we had sex, I didn't, like, I, I wore a condom, but I didn't, like, come inside of her. So I was like, but there's always a chance that pre-cum and all that stuff, and even with a rubber, can get her pregnant, right? And, uh, and she was like, I don't think so. <laughs> um, it's probably this other person that she was seeing too, or whatever. I always loved the fact that I try to get around saying like the the most <laughs> abrasive yeah. words necessary. I mean, Jonas is I always mean, like, I didn't come in the bitch, so you know. I did not say that like that. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm. I mean, we're not. I'm not being crass about it. I'm I know being, this is like it's funny. Yeah, but like, I was uh, trying to find a word around. No, right I've now. never had like a true scare where like the girlfriend I'm with that we aren't using protection like okay. gets you know all of a sudden doesn't have her period or luckily well and the most effed up thing. I I think is like out of all of our friends that we we have had a lot of common friends in our life and a lot of them have unplanned babies yes but you and i <laughs> were two that never did that part that almost every part. one of my close friends has has an unplanned baby yes yes yeah yes i can't in fact i really can't think of anybody i know that does not have an unplanned. me you and ev were the only three okay okay because he has them now but they were planned <laughs> okay yeah like, yeah, like everyone else, I think all of their kids yeah. were unplanned, yeah. at least one of them. They may have had one and then the second one was unplanned or whatever, but like, yes. And it's like, is, okay, so like, I understand you got to take responsibility for your actions. Like if you do have unprotected sex and you end up getting the girl pregnant, yeah, then I feel like you should take responsibilities for your actions. Absolutely. But does that mean that your only way of taking responsibility is by having an unplanned child that you're, you know, you're not ready for? Or does uh, that mean that you should have options? Your option is to ask her what she wants to do. I mean, look, Jones, the way this country is going, the option is no longer that even that. You can travel. But well, right, right, exactly. <laughs> True. No, but like I, I'm a, uh, I am a solid, solid proponent of. If the girl wants to keep the baby, keep the baby because it's her freaking body. Absolutely. Also, but I mean, I feel you have the right to ask her that question and her not get mad that you're asking. <laughs> she, Cause I mean, you can I mean, say, Hey, do you want to keep the baby? And if she says yes, then keeping the baby. Yeah. But 
like at the same time, it's, the, it's always the question of what do you want to do, right? Exactly, that's the question. And, but at the same time, like, because here, here's the only area where I think it gets a little gray for men. If you did everything that you could have done, wore a condom, all that stuff, and you and that happens, that's a real shit spot to be in. But if you, you didn't wear a rubber, bro, what do you? I mean, what the what the? I mean. Yo, right? Like that's how you get people pregnant is by not wearing a rubber. You're like, but I pulled out, but you still, mm, it, yeah, like, yeah. But if you go through all the steps to not do it, it's like, come on, you know what I was aiming for, right? Exactly. If you're the point one percent of like wearing a condom and it breaks or it leaks out yeah. or there's a hole or something, I never even thought of it like that, John. You make a good point. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? You're like, I didn't ever, like, like. Then the, then is it like, well, you should have been abstinent, bruh, bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, like, come on. So I don't know, but any, bottom line, like, yeah, I agree a thousand percent. Like, if the girl wants to keep yep. it, that's her. That's her business, man. It's her body. And that's very true. Never keep thumbtacks and condoms in the same drawer. <laughs> Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have been doing. That's another that. thing. You can do protect yourself. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyways, uh, go to the crazy now. Comment. Subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.